Hey, so I'm a thinker, and what I usually do with that is I just kind of like let my thoughts roam free, let them do what they're going to do, let them make new synaptic links, let them create new thought processes, he sees, and you know, just kind of let them exist. Uh, sometimes that just creates panic and anxiety. <laughs> Other times it gives me like this clarity and like it's really therapeutic. This one instance of it being therapeutic is today. I just took a walk and I was thinking about judgment. I grew up in a culture where judgment is kind of synonymous with damnation. Um, it's what happens when we pass on. We are put again in front of these pearly gates and we are judged for our actions here on earth. Long story short, uh, I guess I was just thinking about <clears throat> the quality of life in a situation where judgment stifles your freedom, where you kind of do things in order to avoid judgment that you don't want. The thought is that if we go through life doing things in order to avoid judgment, then we're not living a life, we're living a life in fear of judgment, which is, doesn't sound fun, it sounds like it sucks really, so, but I also realized as a counterpoint to my own thought is that people, um, in order to establish interpersonal relationships, that's what we do. We, we critically think about the situation, the purpose, the person, the thing that we're doing, the organization, whatever, and apply it to our understanding of life, our own world, right? So that's critical thinking, which is judgment. In order to create interpersonal relationships, there has to be judgment. Whenever it's not productive, I think that creates a whole other topic. Uh, yeah, talk to me. Let me know what you think, guys. Take care of yourselves.